Whether you are somebody who did very well in the INICT exam, which means your preparation was very good, or you are someone who did okay in the INICT exam, you know you would not get selected, but it was a good exercise. If your preparation is good, perhaps doing the right thing would take you to a two-digit rank. If your preparation is okay, perhaps doing the right things, putting a lot of efforts, can take you towards a government medical college seat of your choice. If your preparation is bad, Again, perhaps doing the right things can get you back into the competition and you never know, you can get a good seat also. In entrance exams like NEET PG or to some extent INICT also but more so for NEET PG and for FMG exams, a good number of questions would always be factual and those who would be able to see those facts, see those questions in the one month before the exam, in the two months before the exam will have those things fresh in their mind and you know you you remember everything you memorize everything and you go out and vomit on the day of the exam this strategy which is not a great strategy still works in most of the cases because our exams are designed in such a way second thing is the course is so much 19 subjects so much course that the perfect preparation does not exist even if you talk to the toppers today even if you talk to the people who are going to get rank 1 in INICT or rank 1 in NEET PG, most likely they would also not be sure whether their preparation is good or not. The preparation is so difficult, the course is so vast, it is nothing like perfect preparation. Nobody can cover it all. It's impossible. That is why everybody is always in that state of anxiety whether I have covered enough or not. And people who use smart way of studying in the end often end up improving their performance a lot.